wall is the mural wall, or I guess it is a mural. I want to paint the wavy lines from my branding onto this wall. I'm very nervous <laughs> about it. Doing horizontal stripes or even vertical stripes would be much easier, but my branding has this like wavy line and I want it to go from here all the way to like up here. So it's gonna be pretty large. To buy my paint, I headed straight to Lowe's, which is my favorite hardware store. And I went right, of course, to the paint swatch section. I grabbed four different swatches. We're gonna just use the white in the wall for the white wave line, obviously. So I grabbed these four colors. I ended up getting a gallon of each and a whole bunch of painting supplies. I'm starting from scratch here. So once I had all that, I headed back to the wall. First things first, you gotta tie your hair up in the messiest bun possible. That way you can fully focus on your task. So the first thing I'm gonna do is tape off all of the baseboards, the edges, and all of the, you know, I guess they are edges of the room. I'm not painting the entire wall, but I wanna make sure that I tape off all of that stuff that I definitely don't wanna get paint on. Then I started kind of mapping out where I wanted my design to go. Now you'll find that I definitely used a lot of paint here very unnecessarily but I initially thought that I was going to just like tape it off and create a stencil and that is not what happened. It's very rustic. This is like 40, 42. Okay, I make it about, about eight inches. So at this stage I'm still in stencil brain mode so I'm trying to measure out how thick I want each of these wavy lines to be. Now in hindsight I would have done a few things differently I definitely would have used probably a projector to just project the image onto my wall and then painted it that way, but I just wasn't thinking that way. I was thinking like, I'm gonna make a stencil and paint this and it's gonna be perfect. No, no. So that's strike number one. So in order to create my stencil, I put a whole heck of a lot of tape on that top area where my first wavy line was going to be. And then I took a big Sharpie and started to try and sketch out the wave pattern or the form. And I quickly realized that that little stripe of tape was way too thin for what I was going for. So I just kind of went with it. I sketched it out and then figured out that what I would do from here on out is use this kind of first wavy line stencil for the first line and then from there I was going to just go for it and freehand the rest of it. So I'm going to finish sketching out my outline here and then I'm going to take an X-Acto knife and basically just slice it out of the middle of the tape and then we'll be left with a little wavy line stencil. I was shocked that I did not slice my finger off during this entire process. Once I had removed all of that tape from the middle of my stencil, it was finally time to paint. Very good. Cheers, friend. Don't, don't drop it. Yep, let's go, baby.
I let the first wave drive, drive? I let it drive uh, my car. I let it drive for about an hour and then I went in and removed all of that painter's tape. If you're not having a dance party while you're painting a wall, I don't know what you're doing, but you're doing it wrong. This wave does not look at all the way I wanted it to, so you'll see that I do go back in like I am here. And gradually, as I added more and more wavy lines, I made each of the lines thicker. So here I'm going in and kind of just cleaning up the line edges, filling in any spots where my paint might have been a little bit patchy, and really trying to round out any like shakiness that might have been in my cutting because I cut this out with a tiny little craft knife and I don't have the steadiest hand. So I'm just gonna go in and clean up these lines, but I will go back in later and thicken this up even more. So me doing all of this work on this top line ends up not really mattering that much because I did go in and do it again. day two of this wavy line wall. I did one line last night and it got pretty late so I'm just gonna knock it out today, finish it today. Pink today. Music time! I will tell you, freehanding this wavy line was so much easier. I mean, working off of this top line made it a little bit easier, but freehanding that bottom part was like, why did I even waste all my time with that tape in the first place? And it is so satisfying to just paint one nice line matching up. This was very therapeutic for me. It was very relaxing. Most of the time, if I'm like painting a full wall or something, I get really stressed out and I just try to get it done as quickly as possible. But with this process, I was kind of just like enjoying playing music, painting. It was very much a vibe. So I'm gonna finish up, finish? I'm gonna finish up this dark pink wall. And you can see I'm waving the lines up to the ceiling. And that's because I didn't want to have to deal too, too much with the door being in the way, but I also didn't want to stop the design like right at the door. So I let that pink, dark pink wavy line dry for about an hour. And then I came back and I did the pink, the light pink line. And you can see I made that one much thicker. And that's what really sealed the deal for me on making all of the stripes just a little bit thicker. I feel like it looks so much better with thicker stripes versus thin. So finally, I'm going in with my lightest blue. This is the lighter teal of the two colors, obviously. And I'm just going to follow the wavy line that I've already created. Now this part of the wall is one that I would change. I wish if I could do this over again, I would have gone a little bit further out with the end of this line versus up, but hey, that's okay. It all turned out fine. Once I was done with this part, I did let it dry for a couple hours, then went in, thickened up all of my lines, like I said, and then let that dry, removed all of my tape, and finally 
we are all done. So this whole process took me just a couple days. I'm so, 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 so happy with it and I cannot wait to show you the rest of my studio space. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of those future videos. See you in the next one. Bye!